Hi everyone, Gig Coach Jake back with more hot news in the gig economy. At Grubhub, they have a new change to their pay model, similar to the one that they've run a test on in Denver. Now this is Phoenix. I just received the email earlier today and I want to share it with you all. I also want to share some screenshots from the one in Denver and a little bit of information and my take on things and what to expect. So with that being said, Grubhub claims that the pay is getting better. But is that true or not? Let's take a look at the email they sent and in these screenshots a little more information. So here's the email I got. See how your Grubhub pay is getting better. Hey Jacob, we're improving how you earn to, to better compensate you for your effort on every Grubhub order. What's different? How you'll be paid starting Monday, May 6, 2019. Time plus mileage plus tips equals total order earnings. Now before, we had the base pay of 325, then we had mileage pay, and then tips. So I know a lot of demands where we need to get paid for time, right? We have a lot of downtime, a lot of wait time, since they have a horrible dispatching system of sending us the offers right after it's been placed and right after the merchants received it. But anyway, let's move forward with the email. Time, estimated time from accepting an offer to dropping off the order. Mileage, total mileage from accepting an offer to dropping off the order based on our estimated most efficient route. This amount will not be changed will not be adjusted based on the actual route you take time plus mileage pay will be shown as delivery pay in your summary so they're bundling it all together again before we knew exactly how much we were making for base plus mileage so they're kind of creating a little bit of lack of transparency here what's staying the same you'll still receive 100 percent of your tips period and just like before, we will not reduce your delivery pay based on the tip you receive on that order. When you receive an offer, you'll still see the total amount you'll earn. Now, if it's anything like what they did in Denver, what I'm about to show you in just a little bit, they did change the delivery pay based on the tip amount. So we'll see. You'll also still earn the grub up hourly minimum in your market as long as you meet the required criteria listed in your pay terms. Why? So I can get my blocks restricted? Who cares about that? Now, where can I address questions or concerns? Contact your driver specialist at, and this is our email for ours, if you have any questions. That's funny they say that because someone did contact them to get more of a clear definition of what this delivery pay is since we had a dollar amount before. Now, he sent back basically copy and pasted what was right here. We're always working to improve our understanding of individual markets, traffic patterns, weather conditions, and order complexities. Your feedback matters as we further refine how we compensate you for your efforts. Now, when I read that, it reminds me of reading the DoorDash pay model. So, it's pretty funny. Anyhow, but that's what he sent back. So, they did not even give an answer of what the amount's going to be. So, again, with this formula that's delivery pay, they're creating a lack of transparency that kind of hides whether it's going to be the same, more or less. But we can figure that out doing a lot of math. So over time, we'll know. I know in the Denver market, they started the first week, they got paid a little bit higher. Then the second week, it was about the same what they made before on those same offers. The third week, it was less and it continued to go down. So again, having something like this just allows them to really hide what they're paying and they could slowly move it down without anybody even notice and fly into the radar. Is that what's gonna happen? I really hope not. But based on gig economy and the companies and what they're all doing, and the kind of the writing is in the sand. But let's look here. Your pay terms are now in the app. You can now view your payment terms in the app under help. So you'll no longer need to check your email for updates to your terms. By continuing to use the Grubhub for Drivers app, you are agreeing to the latest pay terms. What does that mean? It means just like an Uber and Lyft, when you toggle available, to work, you just agree to the terms, no matter what the change is. So they could change these at any time, as often, as much as they want. Now, and you won't see an email. So like this email that I'm showing you here, we won't see these anymore. Now it's gonna be the app. So again, another way of hiding and disguising things, and it, they could change as often as they want. And if you wanna work, you have to agree to the current pay terms. So I really don't like this, based on what they're seeing. I know someone asked me, are we getting a raise? I doubt it. I mean, if you look at gig economy, is anybody getting a raise? Grubhub's losing ground to 
DoorDash, and they got to make up some money somewhere. And it's usually at the expense of the drivers. We usually fit the bill. So, but let's take a look real quick at these screenshots I have from Denver, just to give an idea of what it's going to look like for some of you. Now, slightly different model, but same concept. Lack of transparency and a new formula. So right here, I'll show four screenshots from that Denver market, just to give an idea of what it's going to look like on your pay summary. Now you see there's just the delivery pay and then tip. There's no more mileage in there. There's nothing for time. They have it all bundled together. Now look right here, less than $3 for that one. Are you kidding me? So you're trying to tell me you're paying for time, mileage, and base pay, and it's less than $3 and we're, we're making more money now. No, what you've done is, is you've bundled all together so you can't really tell. The other thing you see in these screenshots, they're increasing the delivery pay when there's no or low tip. And they're decreasing delivery pay, like on that $2 something. Actually, that one was really low, period. I mean, Taco Bell, I mean, that paid out five something altogether. But they're decreasing, increase. they're doing the same thing DoorDash does. They're subsidizing when there's low tip and they're paying less when there's a higher tip. I mean, the wording is different in the email and the way that these pay summary, these pay models are, but it's the exact same. It's a new delivery pay formula and then your tips. But we'll never know, I mean, without a dollar amount, how do I know that you're not adjusting delivery pay based on the tip that's there? From the screenshots I just showed and saw from Denver, that's exactly what they're doing. So. That's going to set them up for big, big trouble because this email that they said that they will not. So if they do, I don't know. Again, it's not an agreement, so I don't know how much we can hold them to. But the other thing, with this algorithm, do you really think when somebody rejects this and it goes to the next driver that's further, that they're going to reconfigure the distance and time? No. From what they've shown, their algorithms and their programs are not sophisticated enough. Look at their dispatch system, for example. Look at their customer app. I mean, if you go on there and look, the merchants, the, the closest one is usually the lower one on the list. Like, look at all the Taco Bells. The further one away be at the top of the list, and you got to go on your way down. There should be a default setting based on where the location of that person is to the closest merchant. And then they could change it if they want. Anyhow, there's a lot of things they're just they're not sophisticated enough so I don't see how that's really gonna work I mean there, there's a lot of a lot of questions to be answered I'm an optimist I'd love to think that all grub up drivers will start making more money and do better but the wording the stuff that I just read and the history of gig companies a gig economy and them kind of monkey see monkey do this is not good for drivers so we'll take a month from now maybe two weeks, collect a bunch of data, a bunch of evidence, and really see if this is benefiting drivers or if it's become DoorDash 2.0 pay summary and pay model. Anyhow, let's hope for the best, but be well informed to make the best choices as independent contractors. I hope this information helps you all out. If anything, gives some of you a little bit of a laugh if you don't do grub up. But it is what it is, so we're going to move forward in a positive light and just make the best choices. Anyhow, hope you all have a great day, night, whatever time it is. Be safe there, out there on the roads. Stay cool as it's getting hotter and have fun and work smarter.